In our life, you know, this is, this is quite a common condition. Right. The good news is that um, surgery can, can help uh, reduce um, the breast and the overall look and embarrassment and right. all right. Uh, the surgery for this condition is relatively straightforward. It's usually something that, uh, that can be done in a day surgery setting. You know, it's usually a, a general anaesthetic, mind you, but. Um, but uh, the operation itself takes about an hour and a half to perform. All right. Now the operation itself has two components. All right. You know, generally speaking, in, even in uh, you know fit young men and lean men, yeah. you know, there's some fatty tissue contained in the breasts. So we remove the, the fatty tissue with liposuction. All right. That is performed through a couple of small incisions, you know, just underneath the breast. Um, and the, the other component to it is the actual breast gland, breast tissue. You know, men have breast tissue just as women have, and it's often the uh, the gland uh, gland component of the breast that you know gives you you know the very central puffy sort of look to the breast. You know, all right. um, the gland tissue is too tough to be removed by liposuction, so we have to do it by excision essentially. Now it's, it's removed physically by making a small cut underneath the nipple um, and removing the breast tissue that way. Right, right. You know that part of it only takes about 10 minutes to do. So right. Right. Then you end up with a very small incision on the bottom part of the uh, areola or the red nipple area. Okay. Um, all the stitches that we use are dissolving so that you don't have to specifically come back to have the stitches removed. Um, one important part of the aftercare of this sort of surgery is the wearing of a compression vest or a tight garment. Right. It's like a singlet, right. but it's quite a tight compression vest okay. that reduces the risk of bleeding up the operation. Right. It's very important that you wear that for a couple of weeks after the surgery. Right. Uh, in terms of uh, pain, it's not a particularly painful operation because really all we're doing is operating on the breast and uh, on, the, on the skin, I should say, and on the tissue underneath the skin, which actually doesn't have a lot of nerve endings and a lot of feeling. So it's not a painful operation as a rule, and I would expect that you would have painkillers for two or three days after the surgery, not much after that. Right. In fact, you should wake up with no pain because it is a lot of blood anesthetic um, you know, in the whole area, so that when you wake up from the anesthetic, you should be comfortable. Right. Now, in terms of uh, what happens after the operation, let's let's have a look at that. Uh, about a week after the surgery, we we'll come back, um, have the dressings changed, have them inspected, make sure there's no immediate problems. Um, and usually, at that stage, if there are no issues, we don't see you again after about six weeks after the operation. Uh, and at that stage, again, provide everything as well. You know, you can see the essentially the final result. Yep. All right, and you can do more like great right. including exercise, uh, gym, uh, be back at work. You guys are the operation.